Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw, the show after our amazing Money in the Bank pay-per-view. We're here live in Spring Bo Springfield, Illinois, and our general manager has some amazing matches lined up for you here tonight. In our opening contest, we didn't have a women's tag team championship match scheduled for money in the bank there's too many matches lined up on that card but for our next pay-per-view our up-and-coming pay-per-view WWE Wrestlemania Backlash we will have a women's tag team championship match but we don't have competitors for the championships for our champions to face somebody so this match will determine who will go on to face the champions at Wrestlemania Backlash here we have Shayna Baszler and Natalia so you know both of these two superstars like to pull in some mission moves let's see if it's enough to win this matchup but they will be taken on Toxic Attraction. Now you see Maddie Rose, the leader. Well, she has not has have a good amount of luck lately. For three weeks straight, she had lost to Becky Lynch. On the first three weeks ago. She took on Becky to qualify for Money in the Bank, but failed, and Becky Lynch attacked her. And then two weeks ago, she took on Becky again, but with the help of Toxic Attraction, still lost. And just last week, she lost again. Hopefully, Toxic Attraction, the rest, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane, can pull out a victory. Oh, Shayna just stuck the referee. Trying to make sure the referee pays attention. This referee has had some, um, apparently this referee can't look at the superstars breaking their pins by having their feet and hands on the ropes. So Shayna basically making sure that the referee doesn't screw her in this situation. We have Gigi Dolan, Shayna Baszler starting this match up here. Gigi ducks out the way. Gigi goes for something, but Shayna will still in the cover. One. No. Baszler doesn't get it. Dolan with the jawbreaker. Dolan trying to go after Baszler, but gets swept off her feet. And you see Natalia and JC Jane brawling on the outside. And oh, just Shayna using that MMA background to target the head of Dolan. Oh no, Dolan's in trouble here. Arm! Oh! You see Natalia just taking it to JC Jane on the outside. While Baszler is taking out the right arm of Dolan. But Dolan is turned around trying to go for something. Dolan manages to get out for just a second. But Baszler is back on the offensive. No. Dolan. Kick to the gut. Dolan looking for something big here. Trying to drag her opponent to her partner's corner. JC James, the legal competitor in this matchup. You see Mandy Rose. It's just out on the outside supporting her teammates. Oh, but JC Jane locks in a submission hold here. Oh, but Natalia almost tried to break it up, but Shayna, the submission magician, breaks out. Uh, Shayna's hesitated. So JC Jane gets the one up. And oh, bouncing her upon his head off the turnbuckle. A oh, big stop. Oh, another big stop. Oh, she sits down on it. 
Oh, try to go for something, but Shayna Baszler will through. Into the corner goes JC. Oh, a big strike. Oh, you see Shayna likes to go after the arms of her opponents. Uh oh, she goes after the leg as well. Oh. Shayna. Driving suplex. Lands her on the back of her neck. And you see Shayna try to go for a cover here. She's got it. One. No. Kick out at one. JC in trouble here. Kick to the gut. Oh, plants her down on her face. Shayna goes for the cover. One, two, but no, Joe, uh, Gigi Dolan stops it. Oh, you saw Manny Wills kind of distracted Shayna for a second. And JC Jane takes out Natalia. And a big pump kick. JC in the cover. Oh, wait, no. Shayna had her hand on the ropes, and the referee did not see it. JC Jane, Gigi Dolan, Toxic Attraction are going to WrestleMania Backlash. The referee just screwed Shayna. Oh, my God. After we just saw Shayna get screwed by the referee, this referee needs to go back to referee school. Now it's time for Charlotte Flair, who's taking on Dakota Kai. Last time we saw Charlotte Flair, she defended her Raw Women's Championship against Ember Moon in an amazing matchup where she came out on top. Now Charlotte Flair has to compete again on Universe Mode as she takes on Dakota Kai. Who I think if Dakota Kai wins this matchup, she just might be number one contender, just might face Charlotte Flair for the Raw Women's Championship at Backlash, but that's if Charlotte Flair doesn't win this matchup. I mean, if Charlotte does win, I think Ember Moon might get a second shot at the championship. Who knows? There's nothing been confirmed yet from the Stone Cold general manager. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Stone Cold Steve Austin is our Raw General Manager. You see the referee pulling off the robe of Flair. Very successful against Ember Moon at Money in the Bank just last night. And a very good matchup. Now her opponent tonight is Dakota Kai. Has uh, developed a uh, recent change here. But now I think she might be back to fully understanding what she needs to do. Yeah, Dakota Kai. And uh, I think... Yeah, that's the wrong graphics card. Uh, apparently, we're having some problems here. Apparently, the graphics accidentally put up Becky Lynch's graphics. But that's Dakota Kai right there. So, apparently, something just happened. But now we still have. Dakota Kai versus Charlotte Flair. This is the match going on right now. Alright, match is coming. And, uh, oh! Charlotte Flair taking it to the 
Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai has that got locked in that submission, but Dakota escapes. And Dakota using her strength. Dakota is pretty strong, just to let you guys know. And you saw that knee. Now Dakota Kai running the ropes. Leg drop connects. Oh, misses the second one. You know, that kind of looks like something Becky Lynch would do. Okay, I'm getting reports. Something in the report about a beef between Dakota Kai and Becky Lynch. Apparently, Dakota Kai says that Becky Lynch doesn't deserve everything she has. And the only reason she's there is because of backstage politicking. So Dakota Kai said, you know what? I'm going to pretend to be Becky Lynch and see how things go. I'm pretty sure that's the graphic card of Becky. Yes, that was, that was supposed to be a move by Becky, but Charlotte Flair countered. You know, Charlotte Flair, a member of the Four Horsewomen. Knows about Becky Lynch, her battles with her. So if Dakota Kari wants to continue using her move set, Charlie Fair is gonna have to focus up. And yeah, that beef has been going on on Twitter, but Charlie just hit the big boot. Oh, instantly goes the cream right into that leg headlock, head leg lock. Oh, Charlie Flair trying to go for for her figure eight, but Dakota Kai is still in this matchup. Becky Lynch, I mean not Becky Lynch. I got confused. Dakota Kai hits Becky Lynch's manhandle slam. Oh no, a kick out by Charlotte. You see Dakota Kai using Becky Lynch's move set here. This armor locked in. Locked in pretty deep. Will Charlotte Flair tap out to the disarmor? No. Charlotte gets out. As I said, Charlotte I mean, is trying to fight both Dakota and Becky here. If Dakota keeps using Becky Lynch's move set. I mean, the, Becky's been successful. I mean, she's good in the ring. I'm pretty sure the color thinks that she pretends to be Becky Lynch. She can get where she needs to be at the top. Taking out the arms of Charlotte Flair. Something Becky Lynch would do as well. No, a kick out. Dakota Kai going up to the top rope. Awakening does Charlotte. Oh, try to go for something. Oh, she managed to duck out the way. And another takedown by Dakota Kai. And now Dakota taking out the left arm of Charlotte Flair. Oh, try to go for a slap or Charlotte duck. Oh, a slap of her own by Charlotte. Taking out the leg. Knee to the leg. Turns around. No. Dakota trying to go for a slap there. Oh, a big slap again from Charlotte. Charlotte, you know what she likes to do. Take out the legs of her opponent so that the figure eight can do the rest of the damage of the big boot connects. Goes for the cover. One, two, no. Dakota Kai is still in this matchup here. Charlotte Flair looking for something to put this match away. Big Chop connects. And Natural Selection connects. Now she's dragging her opponent away from the ropes. So that there's no rope breaks. Gotta be careful with this referee. One. Two. No. The referee almost hit three. But Dakota Kai kicks out. 
And you see the ref uh, crowd loving this matchup here. The stakes in this matchup. And Dakota Kai locks in this armor once more. Will Charlotte tap out to the disarmor? No, she doesn't. I'm pretty sure Dakota Hot Kai had to let go because it was so useless in doing it. But she goes for the cover instead. Oh, so close to three goes Dakota. And drops the elbow right on the chest. Oh, and a big boot. But you see Dakota Kai is still fighting in this matchup. Leg drop to the arm. Oh, blocks the clothesline. Opponent gets sent into the corner. And a big forearm connects. And you see the color card goes for some stomps. Let's go for the cover here. One. Wait. Two. Wait. No, Charlotte. Oh, my. This referee has just messed up twice in a row. Dakota Kai goes for the cover. She wins, but Charlotte Flair had her leg on the rope. This referee needs to be fired. It just needs to be suspended without pay. After another referee screwage, it is time for a United States Championship rematch. Now you saw at Money in the Bank, Damian Priest lost his United States Championship to MVP. Today, he walked into WWE headquarters. Walk straight to the, our draw general manager, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and told him he wants to cash in his United States Championship title rematch. So that's what we're having here tonight. Damian Priest looking to come back on to gain, regain the championship that he lost at money in the bank but he also has to go through mvp to do it and we all know how slimy mvp can be but the real problem is will the referee screw this match up here possibly hopefully not Damien Priest has too many things going on in his mind. First, he has to win the championship. Next, he has to win the championship without the referee screwing him over. And he has to beat this man, MVP of the Hurt Business. You see Cedric and Shelton bagging him up just like last night. MVP regaining the title he created for the almighty Bobby Lashley. Now it's around his race. Let's see if the rest of the Hurt Business can get some gold around their race as well. Or MVP is just going to be the only person to hold it. You see on the graphics that beautiful United States Championship. You see the challenger Damian Priest is so ready to regain his championship. Next you have the champion, the title holder himself. Montel Vontavious Porter not really looking to give up the championship he just claimed last night. Gonna let you guys know this matchup is going to be amazing. 
This is our third match of the night. So this is our co-main event. We also got a, one final matchup here tonight. And I can't tell, wait to tell you guys about it. But right now, United States Championship match is on the line. Now MVP already get lit up by Damian Priest doing using all of his power to get the title back so this is a different MVP MVP's gonna have to be a little more smarter oh he's already in an arm bar oh he gets out of it as I say gonna have to be a little bit smarter use every brain cell he has to somehow find a way to get through this matchup well, Damien Priest gonna have to use all his heart and passion just to regain the title. MVP Speedboard Leg Drop connects to the back of the neck. And uh, also, if you didn't know, after the matchup at Money in the Bank, MVP viciously assaulted Damien Priest, saying he was a fake United States champion. And he's the better United States champion than he is. So, you know, this is very, very personal for Damian Priest, who just got assaulted. Now he's back in the championship matchup again. I'm going to take all his anger out on the champion. While well, you see MVP is lighting up Priest. Oh, Priest trying to go for something. Oh, we go back into offense here. Priest, big boy with the kick. Priest got the neck. And the South of Heaven choke slam. Goes for the cover. This could be it. One, two, three. No. South of Heaven does not finish this match off for Priest. Priest gonna look for the reckoning. Kick to the gut. No. MVP stops. Kick to the gut from MVP in the butterfly suplex. MVP looking to maneuver his opponent away. Oh, MVP setting up for that. Runs the ropes. Ooh, ooh. Falling. Elbow drop connects. Goes for the cover. One, two. No, it's not enough. MVP does not finish this match off. He does not retain the title just yet. Oh, but I know what MVP is looking for here. The play of the day connects. One, two, three. MVP is still your United States champion. MVP must have been pretty pissed off. That he had to defeat Damian Priest not once but twice to retain the championship. Oh no, he's going. I think he's going to attack him again. Referee, stop him! MVP with another vicious assault on Priest. Why? We have had it a pretty eventful raw here tonight in Springfield, Illinois. But now it's come down to the wire. It's time for our main event. And here we have our new WWE Champion Cody Rhodes. Who beat the Tribal Chief at Money in the Bank for that championship he's holding right now. The American dream has come true and it's a nightmare for Roman Reigns in the bloodline. As the bloodline also lost all of their gold on Money in the Bank, the Usos lost the Raw Tag Team Championships to RK Bro. We'll get more on that possibly next week if our general manager has something to say. But the general manager did say that Roman Reigns will have his rematch for the WWE Championship 
at WrestleMania Backlash, which means Cody Rhodes has to defend his championship against Roman Reigns at the next pay-per-view. So right now he's taking on, and I think that is John Cena. John Cena was at Money in the Bank. He was in the Money in the Bank ladder match, qualified for that match by teaming up with Brock Lesnar. And he won that tag team match. But he lost Money in the Bank. The Money in the Bank winner, male Money in the Bank winner, is on SmackDown as well as the women's Money in the Bank winner on SmackDown as well. So John Cena is going to have to take another step to going to be a 17-time world champion. Um, but first, he has to take on the actual champion, Cody Rhodes, here tonight on the main event in Illinois Springfield. I'm just going to let you guys know, this matchup is going to be amazing. Final matchup of the night is going to be hard hitting as well. Cody Rhodes, and you hear the crowd chanting for Cena. As the match is underway, hopefully the referee doesn't mess up this matchup. And Cody Rhodes using, gets powered. Oh, John Cena with a vicious belly to belly. Try to go for an early victory. Try to prove his point as next contender for championship of Cody Rhodes. But Cody Rhodes has heart and he has spirit. So it's going to take a while for Cody. Cody Cutter connects. Cody doing everything he has to beat Big Match John. You know, John Cena likes these big matches. That's when John Cena shines. That's when John Cena can find a way to win a matchup. Even if he's down bad, bleeding, sweating out of his eyes, tears coming down. Cody Rhodes going to have to do a lot more to put this man away. Cody tried to go for something. But oh, big Enziguri connects to the arm of Cena. And Cena gets hit with a suplex. We got a count of three, and Cody Rhodes just stomped on the head of Cena. Right on the outside, and there goes Cena running straight into the edge of our announce table. And you see, Cody doesn't like to win matches like these. He breaks up the count. Oh, a knee to the arm of Cena. And another stomp to the head of Cena. Now Cena trying to find a way to get back into this matchup, but Cena gets hit with a snap suplex on the outside. And runs the knee into the skull of Cena. Back into the ring goes our competitors here. Cody Rhodes stalking his opponent. Stalking Cena, looking for something big here. Takes down Cena. Now you see Cody Rhodes trying to make sure Cena stays down. Looking for something big here. Crossbody, no. Cena maneuvers himself out the way. Cena gets lit up. C Cody Rhodes, oh! Plants Cena on the face, goes for the cover. No, it's not enough. And now Cody going up to the second rope, calling for his opponent to get to his feet. Goes for a cutter, but John Cena maneuvers himself out the way. Oh, I think Cody almost got hit with the attitude adjustment, but no! Cody Wells is still in this matchup, but a rope break and hinders his plans of winning this matchup. Cody Rhodes turns his opponent around, try to go for a crossroads. Cena counters. And look at this. Oh, a DDT. 
And now Cody Rhodes makes his way to the top rope, turns around. Oh, a moonsault connects, goes for the cover. One, two, no. Cena still is in this matchup. Both these competitors giving it everything they have. A big lariat takes down Rhodes there. And a big punch connects. And now Cena, Hurricane Rana, Frankensteiner. Now Cena taking it to the head of Cody. Added to the judgment. Hits! This could be it for Cody. John Cena just won this matchup. No. Cody Rose is still in this matchup here. But Cena looking for the five knuckle shuffle. Hits! And I think Cody Rose just got busted open. Blood in his eyes. Doesn't see John Cena go for the added to the adjustment again one two three no two added to the adjustments two AAs isn't enough to put this match up away Cody Rhodes as I said has all the heart in the world in the world and a big takedown John Cena get lit up with those punches Cody going for another stomp to the head of Cena again. And Rhodes going up to the top rope. Turns around. Moonsault connects. Goes for the cover off it. A little hesitation off of the punishment that Cody Rhodes has been in this matchup. But it wasn't enough to put this matchup away. Uh, but you see Cody Rhodes looking for the crossroads. Oh, but Cena... Counters and a Luthez press puts Rhodes down. Cena just might win this matchup. Oh, a big jab. Oh, you see the blood on the eyes of Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes gets taken up to the top rope. Big punch connects. What Cena? Oh, no. Cena. Cena, no, not off the top. Cody, Cody counters. Oh, this could have been bad news for Cody Rhodes. But Rhodes manages to get out. Kick to the gut. DDT connects. It would have been an avalanche attitude adjustment. But Cody Rhodes prevails. Turns around. Lifts his opponent up into the murder breaker connects. Goes for the cover after landing his opponent on his neck. Two. No. It wasn't enough. Cody. I think I know what Cody has to do to put this match away. He has to hit this maneuver before Crossroads. Locks it in. Connects. This is it for the matchup, I believe. Goes for the cover. One. Two. Three, Cody Rose just beat John Cena in the main event of Monday Night Raw. After that incredible performance with blood in his eyes, Cody Rose now has to gear up to take on the Tribal Chief in the WWE Championship rematch. Well, that's the it for Monday Night Raw. We'll see you sometime soon. It's being filled down the road.